today we're going to show you how to install a Z-Wave door lock. We've got our friend Tyler here from Quickset who's going to help us out. Thanks for having me. Great to be here. So our first step is to install the latch. Now Tyler, tell us how do we know how to do this? Okay, so first you have two different bore depths on the doors. You'll have two and three eighths or two and three quarters. Easy way to find out is just hold it up against the door and see where it needs to be to actually put that little D-shaped hole in the center of the, of the bore here. And with that, once you figure that out, it's actually marked to show you which side's supposed to be at. Give it a shot. What happens if I have a door that looks like this? This obviously isn't gonna fit. So you have a couple different options. You can go get a specialized tool or use a chisel from your hardware store, um, or you can reach out to your local quick set rep and we can send you a drive-in latch. So once we have the latch adjusted and the door prepared, we just slide this in there and tighten it with two screws, right? Correct, and you always want to make sure and use a hand screwdriver to prevent over tightening. Next, we're gonna install the exterior portion of the door lock, right? Right, and if the hole's a little bit larger, you can use this included adapter, but you won't need it this time. This cord connects to the back of the lock. Now, do we run this over or under the latch? You'll wanna run it right under. So next, you're gonna install the lock cylinder here, and you'll notice on the back, this is a D-shaped spindle here. Oh, so that matches the D-shaped hole in the latch we put in earlier. Right. So now we'll use this back plate to hold all the exterior into place. Right, we use these two screws, and remember to use a screwdriver and not a drill. So we'll run the cord through this middle hole. And make sure and secure it into place in the smaller hole in the corner. So screw number one. Make sure it goes all the way through the latch and into the back of the exterior. And screw number two. So Tyler, why do we use a screwdriver and not a drill? If you over tighten the bracket, it can cause alignment issues, which can cause binding of the lock. So this wasn't quite straight. Make sure everything's straight before you completely tighten both screws. So next is installing the interior. Right, but first we'll want to pair it with the IQ panel because it's a lot easier to do it before it's on the door. So you need four AA batteries for the lock. Make sure you use alkaline batteries and that way you'll get the proper battery reading. So slide the battery pack in. From the IQ panel, swipe down to access your settings tray. Go to settings, advanced settings, installation, devices, and Z-Wave devices. As a general rule, you always want to clear a Z-Wave device before attempting to pair it with the panel. To clear the lock, touch clear device, and then press this button. Next, to pair the lock, you'll go add device, pair, and then press the same button. The panel recognizes that this is a door lock and that it's most likely going on a front door. With the lock paired, let's go ahead and put it on. So next, you'll want to pull the battery pack back out. Like this? Exactly. So next is the power cord. With this side up, right? Right. Before mounting this, you want to make sure that the turn piece lines up with the D-shaped pin that goes through. You may need to make sure that the cord is tucked into the screw. All right, so next we'll mount it in place like this. And you'll secure it with these screws. Oh look, you can even look down there and see if it's aligned properly. So how tight should I make these? Just a hand tightening is fine. So next, we're gonna put in the batteries. But before you do, hold down this lock button and then go ahead and drop them in. So don't let go of that button until you hear that first beep. Now, what the heck was all that noise? That's the lock figuring out whether it's going to open to the left or to the right. We call that the handing process. So last, we just slide the back plate on just like this. And that's it. We're done. Tyler, thanks so much for your help. It's been awesome. Thank you. 